instead of worrying about what you cannot control, shift your energy to what you can create. For our 10th episode, our special guest is a distinctively handsome Batangueño from the municipality of Malvar. I have here today, Mr. Arthur Gabriel Bison. Hi, Arthur! Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Aramir. And those who watch Aramir TV on YouTube, please continue supporting, sir. Uh, I'm really great. And I'm so, um, actually, I'm really kinakabahan right now. But thank you so much for the opportunity. Parang ako yung kinakabahan sa'yo, no? So, totoo <laughs> lang talaga. Anyway, Arthur, para sa mga hindi pa talaga lubos kang kilala, uh, pwede mo bang sabihin sa kanila kung ilang taon ka na? And what do you do in life? Uh, hi everyone. Uh, as you know, uh, my name is Arthur Gabriel Bizo and I represent the municipality of Malvar. I am currently 26 years old and working as a finance admin specialist in BGC Tagig, an Italian communications company. This yes. particular na trabaho yun, anong ginagawa mo? Uh, mostly, sir, we are the end process, which are the documentations as well as we do the archiving of finance documents and we actually do balance and budget so ayun po wow parang feeling ko ang daming numero dyan yes yes so, <laughs> so ano ba ano ba yung naging course mo nung college uh graduate po ako ng BSBA financial management okay kaya pala okay so masasabi mo, masasabi mo ba na love mo ang math dahil puro numbers yung mga kaharap mo na madalas Actually, sir, I am the opposite. I really do hate mathematics. Actually, no high school, nag-summer ako bumagsak ako sa mathematics. But the good thing here is um, go getting financial management doesn't need you to be good in math, but you have to be good in details. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Napaka-gandang ano yan, ha? Napaka-gandang trabaho. And at the same time, salamat for informing us na yun pala yung madalas na ginagawa pag yan yung course or yung yung trabaho na pinasok. Anyway, Arthur, nabalitaan ko that you are enjoying daw dyan sa trabaho mo. So, bakit ka nag enjoy dyan sa particular job na yan? I really do enjoy my job because uh, as one of my personalities, sir, uh, I am a really detailed-oriented person as well as uh, I am punctual. So, being on a financial field, uh, one of the most uh, requirements in this field is being uh, really good on details. So that's one of my uh, strength in life. And yeah, the reason why I do it as well enjoy it. And no hassle because, you know, I do love it. Okay. Yeah. Sabi nga nila, di ba, pag naghahanap ka daw ng trabaho, dapat daw, yun daw trabaho na mahal mo para hindi mo nararamdaman na nagtatrabaho ka every day. Yes, tama yan, sir. Ayan. So, after your profession, punta naman tayo dun sa hilig mo daw sa sports. Nabalitaan ko rin na mahilig ka daw maglaro ng iba't ibang klaseng sports. What do you play, Arthur? Um, I actually play uh, table tennis, tennis, uh, badminton, and as well as volleyball, sir. I was a varsity since elementary, grade 4 until first year college ng volleyball. Though, I actually stopped because... You know, uh, we have priorities to set, which is the academy. So, right. Oh. Okay, so, yung pagkahilig mo ba sa sports, meron bang nagturo sa'yo or sariling pag-aaral? Actually, sir, uh, uh, this is actually the funny story. Uh, nung grade 4 ako, I was forced to join the volleyball team here in our elementary school. So, uh, with the, uh, I really don't like sports because uh, it's too much sweat, the sun is uh, too much heat. But um, eventually, actually, when you are doing the things that even though you don't love but you keep on doing it you will learn how to love love it just like how i love my sports the volleyball okay, okay. so ito kanina off cam binati ko na agad yung nakita ko diyan sa likuran mo no so yung aking yes. next question ay related dito sabi do sa public resume mo if you have the time and the book at your hand ay kaya mo makapagbasa ng at least 60 novels in a month. Kasi daw, you can read two novels in a day? Talaga ba? Yes. yes. Actually, sir, um, may patunay ako dyan on my Goodreads page. Actually, on my Goodreads page. Uh, I really do, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of books and I really do enjoy reading. 
uh, actually, sir, I consider myself as a bibliophile, someone who loves to collect and read. And since po uh, ngayon, nung pandemic pala, nakakadalawang libro talaga ako sa isang araw because I have the time. And right now, uh, I still have work and some extracurricular activities outside work. So I just read like one one book a week or two weeks. So, Uy, at grabe pa rin yun ha? Kahit one book in two weeks? Grabe. <laughs> Iba nga dyan, hindi nakatapos ng isang libro pa in their life. <laughs> Pero curious lang ako, bakit ka nahilig sa pagbabasa ng libro? Um, actually, since when I was a kid, uh, I really do enjoy reading uh, children children's books. Uh, I started with picture books then. Nag-stop din po ako by elementary, then high school, nag Ah, uh, bumalik ulit. Para siyang sir, ano eh, um uh, it's uh, a hobby na pabalik-balik lang. You'll stop then babalik. Then when nung nag-work na po ako, dun talaga ako nag-start mag-collect and na na fall in love ulit ako. Parang yung spark of spark ng reading is nan nag-apoy. It's not a spark anymore but a flame. So ayun po, as you can see there's a lot and I do need a lot. So ayun. Parang ang feeling ko, hindi lang yan eh. Parang feeling ko, marami pang hindi nakikita ang mga mata namin na libro. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Parang, parang so, kalabas. Ano namang mga genre yung madalas mong basahin? Hmm. Um, I do enjoy the historical historical fantasy. Then, uh, I also enjoy dystopian. And pag naman sobra-sobra na yung fantasy and dystopian, I enjoy uh, self-help and romance, adult romance. Ooh, okay. Sige nga, kung bibigyan mo mga viewers natin ng top three books mo, top three books recommendation, ano yung top three books at the top of your head? Uh, as of now, I, I say, uh, if fantasy, uh, I have three. If fantasy, uh, I would like to, for you guys to read Uh, any Libar Dugo books. Uh, it's actually a historical historical fantasy and fiction. The number two is if you love um uh, a newfound family and children, uh, I would like to suggest uh read the house in the Cerul- Cerul- Cerulean Sea by T J Kuhn. Then, if you want something about um heartfelt. And as well as newfound friends, um, I suggest to read uh, hold on, uh, a list of cages by Robin Rowe. Grabe. Medyo dramatic yung mga books na binigay ko, so handa niyo yung eyes niyo. <laughs> grabe, grabe. Nakakatuwa kasi parang pakiramdam ko kahit kinekwento mo parang yung top 3 books mo. Parang feeling ko sobra-sobrang dami mo nang nabasa ng libro. Can you track kung ilan na yung nabasa mong libro as of the moment? Ah, uh, as of the moment. Like, since January, sir? Or, or since the world began? <laughs> as since the world began? Uh, <laughs> let's say, I, I've already read uh, Humbly 350 plus. What? Grabe, sobrang sipag mo. Grabe, mm-hmm. grabe. Anyway, Arthur, after your love for books, gusto ko namang malaman, meron ka bang motto? We only live once and great things never comes from your comfort zone. So be terrified and do it anyway. Ayan, napakagandang advice niyan ha. Mm-hmm. Huwag tumigil sa comfort zone and yung isa, you only live once. Yes. Napapanahon, napapanahon naman talaga, Arthur. So, aside from reading books, meron ka pa ba bang ibang hobbies? That's it. Ah, yeah, I actually work out a lot. Mas tumobli po yung workout ko since I joined the pageant. But after working out, or besides working out and reading, I love to sleep. <laughs> Sleeping. Yes. Oo. Especially sa ating mga nagtatrabaho na, no? Kapag nakatulog ka... <laughs> Nang siguro 6 hours, parang ang swerte-swerte na talaga. Dahil Satisfying. Talagang, It's a luxury. Correct. Kasi lagi tayong pagod, puyat, ganyan, busy sa trabaho. Ayan. Anyway, siguro by this time, medyo nakilala ka na ng mga viewers natin. Punta naman tayo sa iyong pageant experiences. So, ikaw ba? Simula bata, you are into pageants already? Sumasari ka na ba? nag escort ka na ba? Or... Itong medyo naging binata ka na sa ka lang nag-engage sa pageantry. 
Um, actually, okay, sir, um, the grade four ako, I joined an elementary pageant just within the school. But uh, I didn't want there. Then, no college naman po, uh, I've tried to, I really tried hard to join the university, just within the university pageant. But, um, unfortunately, hindi po ako nakukuha, ganyan, or may ibang preference yung uh, next screen. Then, ayun po, I, I, I joined nung college po by just a small organization and the inter-organization outside the school. Ayun lang po yung nasalian ko talaga. So, ngayon, ngayon that you are already part of uh, Mr. International Philippines Batangas, gusto ko lang malaman, with all those hardships and losses nung ikaw ay uh, elementary and nung college, what motivated you to try once more? I actually saw this on Facebook. And I was actually a fan, already a fan of Mr. International since in Paris. And... Nung nakita ko to sa Facebook, oh, there's, ano, uh, there's uh, Mr. International Philippines Batanga, so it's a branch. So I think I should try there. And one of my friends who, friends at the gym who tried in Manila last 2022, forced me, actually, and uh, kinaganyo niya ako na sumali. And thankfully, I was uh, one of those who reached the final call about. So yes, yes. during the time na hindi ka pa official candidate. What is it running into your mind? Were you expecting na papasok ka dun sa finalist? Uh, I want to hear your story. Oh um dun po sa part ng after after nung uh, screening ko I was not really expecting anything. Sabi ko, uh, wala pang call after like a week so hindi na ako mag-expect and I'll just continue life as it is. And, ayun, um, okay, naging okay naman. But, sir, uh, to be honest, I was so anxious for three days. <laughs> Because, uh, dun sa screening, I didn't do well. Uh, I was not really, I keep on blabbering words. And, ayun. So, I, Pero, I was not, sabi ko, ay, talin na ako dito. So, ayun. Pero para naman ata lahat, ganun eh. Like, yung kapag may iniintay kang resulta, pagkatapos parang, ah, three days na, hindi po sila nagte-text, hindi po sila nag-chat. Di ba parang, yes. iba yung feeling, parang inaantay mo talaga, parang mas gusto mo nang malaman na, sige, eh, hindi ako nakapasok. Kesa yung nag-aantay ka ng, ng result kung oo ba or hindi. Opo. Ayun. So, nakapasok ka and now you are preparing, I am very sure. Uh, pwede mo bang ishare yung mga preparations na ginagawa mo as of the moment. Yung mga pwede nating i-share sa ating mga viewers. Uh, Siyempre, we all know that uh, the finals night will be uh, from a month now. So, ano bang mga paghahanda ang ginagawa mo, Arthur? Hmm. Uh, ever since I was uh, na, na, nakuha ko sa final callback as a um, you know as a candidate, official candidate and represent Malpark, Uh, grabe po yung kinat ko sa diet ko. So, I focus on cal- calorie deficit as well as uh, intermittent fasting. Then, um, uh, nag- yung workout ko na three or two, two times um, a week, uh, I actually do workout now five to six times a week. And I do read uh, classic books so that I will know a lot of words as well as... Um, I do a lot of research about pageantry and how I should answer properly to be like uh to represent myself eloquently and uh you know uh, properly in the audience and the judges. Yun yun lang yun lang talaga yung yun pala ang preparation ko hindi yun lang. So, uh, okay, so very holistic ah, very holistic yung naging approach mo for your preparation sa physical and of course sa Q&A ganyan. So eto yung next question ko um, itong nakaraang mga araw or siguro nakaraang linggo nakita natin yung sa Miss Universe na parang iba na yung hinahanap nila so parang masasabi ko rin na in our pageantry nowadays hindi na lang sapat na dapat matalino ka or guwapo ka or magaling kang maglakad pero very very important na rin ngayon not only in female pageantry but also in male pageantry yung ating advocacy so pwede mo bang i-share sa ating mga viewers kung ano ba yung iyong napipisil na advocacy if ever mabigyan ka ng pagkakataon na magamit ang platform ng Mr. International Philippines 
O oh, yun na, prinoclaim ko na agad. Magamit mo yung kanilang platform. Anong advocacy yung uh, gusto mong isulong or a cause that you would like to speak about? First, sir, uh, before I tell my advocacy, I want to share something about uh, my daily struggles since I was a child as well as how what I've seen on my parents. Uh, I, we actually struggled a lot on commuting, public transportation of the Philippines as well. Uh, then um after graduation i work in manila and manila if you know uh, manila has one of the worst trans public transportations yes uh, this is really stressful and uh, the struggle is uh, really real uh, if batangas has 100 percent then manila has 1000 percent of struggle when it comes to transportation and with this experience, um, since I am really concerned with the welfare of a lot of people, as well as my people, the Filipino, uh, if ever that I've been given the chance to use the platform of Mr. International, I would advocate for safe and accessible public transportation for public Filipino commuters. Because why? Because I want to be part of the improvement of our transportation, our transit. Because, you know, um, if you really want to give a uh, user platform, user voice to improve and to be, to be an amplifier or a tool for those silent cries of the public universe of the Filipino. Ayun po, gusto mag-advocate talaga sa community. Gusto po, paano ba natin may improve yung public transportation natin? Yes. Alam mo, nakakatuwa yung advocacy mo ha. Very kakaiba. Something <laughs> new. Talaga, kasi of course, we usually hear uh, mental health, education, though hindi ko sinasabi hindi sila importante ha. All these mm, advocacies yeah. are very relevant and very much important, pero it's just refreshing to hear na safety sa public uh, commuting and, you know, related to those things, yung napili mong advocacy. Uh, nakakatawa, nakakatawa. Anyway, dahil medyo naging seryoso na yung usapan natin, at parang papunta na rin naman sa seryosohang uh, Tanungan, le, let's now proceed, nabubulol ako, let's now proceed to our Q&A. So, nag-prepare ako dito ng ilang mga questions. And like ko itong sinasabi, there is no right or wrong answer. Gusto ko lang marinig kung ano yung opinion mo sa mga questions na ito. So, Arthur, handa ka na ba? Yes, okay. yes. Handa, handa. Sige, this is your first question. What do you think is one quality that a leader should possess? I think um, a leader should possess concern at, on the welfare of his people. Because the reason why you are a leader because you have to lead the people. And leading the people means taking care of their welfare and giving them the right to speak and the right to critic you. That's all. Okay. Ito. Next question. You are on your way to a march. And someone hands you a blank sign and a marker. What will you put on your sign and why? Uh, if this is a march regarding our country, then though this is really um I just do just a disclaimer, this is really uh really close to my heart. Uh I want to put on the signage is fight for our country, fight for our people. That's what I'm going to put. Okay. Next question. What would you tell a child who is longing for her OFW parent? I will tell him or her that the sacrifices of his parents is for him. So what he has to do is, though I, I'm not going to tell that he or she has to compromise, but I'll tell him that someone is uh, your parents still loves you and your parents still cares of you the reason why they are there is because for your welfare as well or they are concerned next would you fall in love and marry outside your religion mm, yes actually because uh, love doesn't define uh doesn't actually just on physical or religious way love is uh, a very diverse word a very diverse feeling and I think if you really love someone, you don't have to you don't have to 
look at the religion as well or you know or you just have to look at her you look at them or look at that person and yeah that's love that's that's mine that's love and your last question ito na, ito na. if you have 24 hours to live what would you do if ever you know 24 hours is just a day i would love to just uh sit down be with my family um you know uh not really dramatic but just uh before i go i would like to tell them that i would like to make them feel that even though i will be gone within 24 hours i'll still be here for them within my last days within my last minute my last hour my last day Ah, yeah. so sweet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ito, Arthur, proceed na tayo sa ating fast talk. So again, sa ating mm-hmm. fast talk, no explanation. Okay? Just straightforward answers. Handa ka na ba? Yes. yes. Okay. Stuck ka sa traffic. Paano ka magiging productive? Um, I'll read the book. Worst smell? Dirty laundry. Road trip or pep talks? Road trip. All-time favorite author? Libor Dugo. Oh, 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 hindi. Have you ever gone out with someone from a dating app? Yes. <laughs> beach oh. or... <laughs> beach or mountain? Beach. One book na gusto mong magkaroon ng adaptation? Uh, the House in the Cerulean Sea. Pet peeve mo? Uh, I hate people who, uh, who actually box them with others. Mestiza or Morena? Morena. Tall or short? Doesn't matter, but I, as I'm tall, I do prefer tall as well. Bus or MRT? Bus. Stay or leave? Uh, stay. Best food to eat after working out? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Complete the statement. I am a distinctively handsome Batangueño because I am a distinctively handsome Batangueño because I am competent, capable, and very. Thank you, Arthur, for joining us tonight, and I wish you all the best in your Mr. International Philippines Batangas journey. Before we end our conversation, what is your word from home? My word from home is dream. Your friendly kakwentuhan is back. Join me again on our next episode as we meet more people and learn from them. I am Armir and this is Word from Home!